gonna walk in the Phoenix right justice for all day six here in jail. As every done. Sorry, just taking care of your things. We're getting started. We started case uh, uh episode thirty case thirty, I guess. Yes uh, I Got through the uh, investigation. See how far we get today. Probably, I'm gonna at least try to get through the uh, second day of investigation. We'll see how far we get. And, and I don't think we probably will. We'll see how long we t t how long this takes. Along the trial, the two parts of the trial. Number 29, 43 a.m. This record, but defendant lobby number five. Wang Max. Max. Milk. Yeah, milk. What? If I don't have a class of milk before I go on stage, I just can't function, sweetie. Stage. Don't worry, there won't be a stage. All you have to do is sit down. I guess so. Uh, Nick, Max is real nervous. It's understandable. Hey, my sweeties. What? You think I should fly, do you? Huh? You know, you gotta make a good first impression. I have to know, maybe I should fly in and warm up at the crowd hole. No, 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 no. We can't be having you fly around the courtroom. This would be right. Imagine if, you hit, imagine if you hit someone. Don't worry, Max. What Nick says, everything will be, says and everything will be okay. That's what Max says. Uh, Phoenix says. Uh, okay, so he, What time is it, Max? Why don't you, why don't you try to fly her into the courtroom? I can see it now. The, the, the dashing young lawyer flying fabulously. And from above. Don't say that. Everyone in the room will be on your side. Max, really, no one needs to fly today. Nick, what's that look in your eyes? I like the sound of that dashing young one flying away fabulously. Fabulously! <laughs> 10 29 it, 10 it. Just over 20 it, 10 20, 10 a.m. This is court number two. Now, now the case of... Uh, what the... You're gonna get on with it! Oh, sorry, I just realized that the defendant's name is Billy Bob Jones. So... Oh, is the defendant also Maximilian Galactica? Yes, your honor, he does often go by that name. You know, my grandchildren is a huge fan of it, this. Is. I think everyone here wouldn't mind if we called Defendant Maximilian Galactica. It sounds more friendly. I wonder if this is the to our advantage. Ms. Von Kamen, your opening statement, if, if you please. I hope you didn't bother thinking you'd win this one, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Eh? That spearing talent trial was a sham or refused to acknowledge its legitimacy. It did count you. Do you hear me? You're still upset about what happened last time. You have no chance. Zero zilts. Nada. I'm not losing this case. Why you ask? Because it is not nature of Von Karma to lose at anything. I guess being born with the name Von Karma is a free pass to, arrogant, to be arrogant and annoying. Watch and learn, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I'll show you the textbook pr procedure for proving how absolute guilty you are. Me? Me guilty? What am I guilty of? Uh, what are you talking about? You're my ultimate revenge. Not like I'll bring back our dad. Their opening statement complete. Now let's hurry up. Wrap this up. Wrap up this waste of time. 
Very well, you may call your first witness, Miss Mom Garma. Detective Gumshoe, get up there now. Thank you for your work, as I'm sure you need every penny you can earn, Doctor. Don't mention it. It ain't it, it's no trouble. I have like a photo of this. Well, I'd like you to begin by shedding light on the events in question. At your service, pal. All right, Detective, you may proceed with your testimony. Night of the crime, the snow was falling until until 9.40 p.m. and making it extremely cold there. All the seconds before to gather in the big top to practice our routines. Practice hasn't broke up around 10 p.m. The bar itself took place the positive front of the logic house at 10.15. The victim's body was, the victim's body was found. Bent over a wooden box as dead as a doornail. Cause that's blunt tra for trauma is a stabbed the neck, stabbed the neck, vertebrae in his neck. I see he was beaten to death. The autopsy report for the victim. Receptus and evidence. I was right before the end of the court record. Ball object. Hmm. Very well, Mr. Wright. We're beginning to cross examination. Yes, Your Honor. Let me ask you about the snow. There's only a blizzard up until the time of the crime. Did it pile up? What's such a big deal? Maybe about an inch and a half was on the ground. How was it a blizzard if it wasn't that much? I forget. No frozen place and stayed on the ground until the next day. In the snow? Let me see. Gotta be more to this. Hey, what's the matter, Nick? Take a look at the court record. I'm going to show what were the members of the circus doing it on the crime. Suckers performance? What do you mean? But the dancers and staff were there. The routine of the animal, Tame and Bow, the Clown, Bend, and Patrolgus, and of course the defendant, Maximilian Galactica, and his victim, the Ringmaster. I almost forgot. The Tiger was there as well. Curse, what about the circus monkey? I was investigating yesterday. He happened to stand for my first watch. Detective, you're welcome to file a police report after the proceedings. I have to pack this over where everyone head off to. Regina was playing with Jan while Mo went back to his room, died from work. Brandon Fatulius went to the front gate, absorbed in his own world. Ringmaster Ma Maxwell went to the ringmaster's room to talk privately. But privately, huh? That's awfully suspicious. You know what we're talking about, wouldn't you? Regina and I would negotiate Max's salary. I said Max was, Max was asking for Gina's hand in marriage. Let's get more specific about the events at 10 15 p.m. Oh, okay, now pal, pal. You got a witness that told us the whole thing, eh? <laughs> Ow! It's totally meaningless. Time to move on. Alright, we'll just have to visit the testimony later. Coach Joe, would you mind telling us how the victim made his end? A wooden box? That's right. The victim must have been carrying a wooden box when he was killed. Carrying a wooden 
box, huh? Or I changed one box, huh? What do you mean? Well, it wasn't much heavier than it looked, not to mention it was locked. Locked, you say? Victor was hunched over this 20 pound box, supposed to small but strong lock. We only chance, so I might as well ask some questions. You mind telling us what was inside the box? Well, when we found the box, it was locked in the Fort Knox. Took it back, the safe and cracked it open. All that was inside was this little bottle. Bottle? What is this, detective? I don't exactly what it looks like, Your Honor. It's a condiment bottle. What's inside the bottle? It's filled with pepper? Pepper? What? What in the way in the world was it locked in the box? It's only one little bottle in his box. Oh, I wonder if that was some sort of special meaning. I'll find out later. Small seasoning bottle is a court record. Coin the autopsy report the Mario up was a blown object, correct? You done your homework, pal. You have found this Mario weapon, have you? Please are searching for it as we speak. My theory is that something perpetrated something the perpetrator ran off with. Things out specialists in sort of didn't find it in the scene of the crime. I bet you made it disappear with magic. Oh Maybe we're gonna feel for the DSLs to your friends now. That's all we're gonna get out of gumshoe in this case. I mean, all we're gonna get out of is that little ball of pepper? We have wrapped up a detective. I like to call my next witness. I'm not even off the stand yet. Obviously, but that duty is slow and unable to take a hint. Poor Gumshoe. I don't know, but wrapped up is a, such a mean sound to it. I'm a sensitive guy. Thank you for, very much, Detective Gumshoe. You may step down. But it's on camera, call your next witness. Let's call Benjamin Woodman to the stand. We're talking about Ben and the Ventriloquist. What if Trillia will show up in the stand as well? Please state, please state your name and occupation for the court record. My name is, Tr my name is Trillia. Trillia Quest, I have a place that operated tenor. Frank Tanner. Excuse me? This call to the stand was Benjamin Woodman, the Ventriloquist. That world must be cutting your circulation off. I said I was a, a singer. You don't believe me? Fine, I'll grace you with a song. And me, 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 me. The world of law is standing and daring. Guitar, guilt or innocent. Decided by the judge, dressed up like a woman. What do you think? <laughs> I had a good rhythm. It's the lyrics that lately something to be decided, so to speak. Trilly, you know better than assault the judge. Shut up, just look at you, you look at your nose, you dickhead. You just have to fix it. So ugly, I'm gonna punch it, you in the face, the face on the on the off chance of swell, someone would help. You know that nose is the reason you'll never be an A-list star. I mean, Trilly enjoy saying everything that flashes in their mind. This is so very... What's going on there? Oh no, oh, no, oh, no. I demand to know who the witness is. Don't, don't, oh, no, don't worry about me yet. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to handle this. I'm worried about you one bit. I'm worried about. What oh, no, You don't get anywhere trying to figure out what this was. Now let's proceed. I wonder if real courtrooms have to deal with this kind of cramp. I'm about to whip the phone. I have to call Ventrogus. Once the practice is over, I left the tent and the, with the students, I mean clown. Once we got to the lodging house, I, I ditched them and went back to the pause entrance. That's why I saw Max in towards the crime, scene of crime. So I'm heading that way. 
How can a punk not be the killer? In the police shop, I took boy away. The magic boy away. A Maximilian collector headed towards the scene. You sure that? Without a doubt, he had him with silk, uh, uh, cloak, and a dumb white rose on his chest. How can you mistake someone with a crazy gap in his nose to get up so high? Enough, I think oh, we really all got the picture. One thing, he said, ditch the clown. That's right, dress boy. Since you weren't with the. Seriously, I didn't even know you got a point. Oops. I say it was a nice theory, but the clown can't be a culprit. Why is that? Here's the absolute proof. It's still okay. care. That's found as a scene of crime. Bunk the defendant. Ah. Uh, Question is wearing a signature hat during practice. Colin was murdered. There would be no reason for the hat to be at the scene. It was Well done, Miss Frank. However, your prosecutor's skills are unrivaled. Well done. Thank you for staying the obvious. Thank you for staying the obvious, Mr. Feast, right? What do you have to say? Okay, I guess he's the boss again today. Clown? You're talking about Mo? Of course I'm talking about that old fart. He's so pathetic I can't stand him. He's a little bit of exercise and his makeup is running all over the place. But the practice is over. He was night that to the way and the only over for good. Good. Poor guy. He didn't have a, any choice, so Ben will come back to his room. Because of being a first place loser, this guy's head of the pack. And then what happened? Why the plaza entrance? Do something, of course. Look cold that night, especially with all the snow around. I'm thinking any of nice, warm lodging ha have been a very idea. Mr. Fink's right, I think you should leave the thinking to the witness. But I'm a good thinker, at least my teachers always said it was. Are you sure it's really Max Galactica? Of course I'm sure. How could you mistake the wearing this? That's a snobby three-piece get-up. Snobby three-piece get-up? Get the wax out of your ears, boys. Nowadays, you're, you're like talking to a brick wall. Max is three pieces. Piece get-up. Jeez. Can you, can you be any more dense all together now? So cat, cool. White roses. Thank you. Nick, I think you should put a little more effort into preparing questions. So it makes it only Max, right, Trillia? That's right, it makes him the killer. The one person headed that way that night. And quite a bit of sense it makes Max one suspicious character. What is story that meets the eye? Something amiss in this? For strange, don't you think? What strange? And you only saw Max. Considering you should have also saw saw. It. Does it seem like you should have seen someone else as well? What are you getting at going with this, Mister Wright? You're supposed to think the witness could have seen. Russell Barry. That's. The victim. Yeah. <laughs> That's correct. The trillion was at the entrance of the plaza. You should have seen the ringmaster as well. Uh -huh. I've seen the ringmaster arrive at the scene before the witness. Could have seen him. Anyone else with the sense could have figured this one out. What are you talking about? The ringmaster went to the ringmaster's room. It's just that, according to the defendant, likely story. Maximilian Galactic was supposed to be in the Ringmaster's room. Why was he just as the witness stayed at the scene of the crime? Ah! I see. They had no reason to doubt the 
the witness's testimony. Or clean up conclusive contradictions. He's right. You're feeling judgment, Your Honor. Let's move along with the testimony. Who wouldn't happen to have an attorney motive for incriminating Max Witty? Well, Max is part of the very love triangle at Regina. It's probably where Max conked him over the head. Um, Nick, wasn't no Ben the one that not got knocked over the head? Uh, yeah, I think so. I don't know anymore. Time, what time did the police arrive? I suppose that would have been around, uh, hey, what time was it? Uh, I think it was around, uh, a bit after 10.30 p.m., I think. I said 10, so you hung around the lodging house all the entire time. I, I, I guess that sounds about right. It's awful cold, I can't believe you just staying outside in the winter. Uh, all the truth is... You shut up, you big nose dope! Why are you telling him anything extra? Did you believe that we just stand outside in the wet that weather? Or well, maybe you were waiting for someone. What? So we're waiting for someone. The fix, right? You can do without your fan of dirties. But this witness, the wit this witness he's cracking under the pressure, he's already on Alright, I'm on to something. It's all right. You suppose the witness is waiting for you out in the cold. Well, if he was waiting outside in the cold, it was for one person. Regina. We're still waiting for the animal tape. Regina. What? You were waiting outside for Regina to come back to the lodging house. Am I mistaken? Is this true? Oh, I, I, I I can't really ask the, the question. Okay, so I was waiting for that night. The point is that I was what I saw, don't you forget. Oh, well, well the puppet may be a bit stiff, but he's right. Uh -huh. All right. This is obviously, there's obviously a reason why the witness was there that night. He spent all night waiting for Regina to arrive. Moreover, even if someone else would have walked right in front of him, I doubt he would have paid them a second thought. Yeah! Makes perfect sense. What'd you just say? This is all the defendant at the scene of the crime. If he did not see the victim on the way to his eventual demise. Except that, then he must accept there is a high likelihood that he could have missed someone else other than Max heading to the, the scene. Ow. There's no proof that the witness was waiting for the animal tamer. Uh, um. Uh, I guess you got me. Alright, 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 I'll spill the beans for real this time. If she was waiting for Regina. Pain. Don't volunteer things. Cause tell us the truth this time. I mean the whole truth. Were you or are you not waiting for Regina at the entrance to the lighting else? I was. I was waiting to propose to her. You are waiting to propose? What's oh. right? You think you to have a monopoly on a marriage?
that the man of puppets branch is under every use is that this case. It was judge, I mean look at Daryl Bluff it. Or pain. Uh, do you bubbling my perfect play is that the perfect anymore? I don't have to waste time getting the bottom of some the proposal by a puppet. I'm surprised that I was going to propose to Regina. I I even had something to give her. So I pop it, wait, pocket waiting for a chance to propose her, give it to her. So I was in my pocket that night as a presenter. And I wasn't able to give it to her, so I still got it in my pocket. That's bullshit since we had it. You're gonna propose? You a puppet? Don't be tough, Tris. Just because I'm a puppet doesn't mean I can't love. I guess you're right. Because I'm an old man doesn't mean I can propose to her. That'd be really creepy, Judge. It just says, exactly. Dude, you're like 70 plus and she's like 16. That'd be really, really creepy. It's not as looking at all less honorable right now. That's all right. Please continue with your crossing examinations. Sorry. There's a sigh at the end. We already know the contradiction. You can't have it because we found it in... In Akro's room yesterday, we found the ring in his. Oh. Press on that. On this. Proposing me, proposing marriage, and correct Regina. Of course, that's what I meant. What kind of stupid question is that? We could propose that. That we become sort of outlaw biker gang together. Right, Ben? Yeah, yeah. God, that's the truth. Exactly, you plan on giving her. Exactly, what I was plan I was going to give her dump skull. The only thing I could find that could match was Ian's beauty. Intricate this question. What was it? Got diving gear. This is an engagement ring. Engagement ring. Wow, well, those two nearly fell out of the chairs. The fake straight. The joke has gone too far. Time for this to end right here. You're a witness on ours! But the last shot is almost anything. One if from the one. That thing will probably shut someone up for a long time. It's something like a junk, but this is a historic moment. First time a puppet ever proposed to a human being! Ow! I if I should have cut this argument short! I'm gonna have to agree with the defense here. I was pleased to revise the testimony. Just like about the engagement ring. I like to stick to facts, not sociology. Sure, I do enjoy swinging the details, especially for a man in a black bathrobe. Engagement ring? Uh, it's actually a diamond shaped stone cut from glass. More brilliant than the real thing, I think Regina is going to love it. 
restoring. It's a man, Nick. If something I can catch him on. Alright, now I'm gonna catch him on. Who's the whose pocket was there in? Mine, of course. You, this what a stupid question. You gotta be kidding. You think Ben could pull that off? Oh, I'm sorry, I really get it. You don't have to apologize for that. You're the one, the one who should be apologizing. Really? Also, I had it in my pocket that night and it's for Jennifer. So you went to the lodging house to give it to her. That's right. I, get, I tried to give it to her during practice so many times that I lost count, but Uppity Snob kept getting in the way. Uppity Snob? He couldn't. He couldn't possibly talk about me. I got a hold of him. I'm gonna knock. Cause sauce is what block. And they have that, but not with that one magic. We always say that love creates rivalries. Oh, about this present. Bullshit, cause we've got the fucking ring. Do you still think I'm gonna give it to Regina? Of course I am. I spent three months selling this thing, and I got get that easily. I wonder how much he receives for appearing in the circus. Probably more, way more than he deserves. About it, Nick. I think it's about time to wrap this toy's testimony. That's the spirit, Nick. Give it back. This is that days of confused look again. Maybe you should get out more. Truly, do you mind if I show you something? Uh, oh, is it? what are you talking about? Uh, look like they're gonna double team me now. You recognize this ring? Uh, that, that, that's a. Uh, that's mine. Give it back, thief. Thief. You just testified about this very object. I believe you said. And I was able to give it to her, so I've still got it in my pocket. Why didn't do I have it right here? Because ah! Acro stole it. What's going on here? That's that's that's. Ben, say something. Uh, don't put me on the spot like that, really. Ill. I found this in Money's room. Money's room? Oh, you mean a room that's put money like they put money? Like a vault? A vault? That filthy monkey is going to get what's coming to him. It's a grace I prefer if you avoid slandering as if Freyas is in my court. Oh, you're on a monkey? is really a monkey? Ever said so word? I, I see then, well, uh, then, uh... Money likes to grab the shiniest things that they could find and gather them up. Shiny things? Trillio? What was this ring stolen from you? Well, I, I suppose it, it was at uh, that time, uh, you know, uh, that night, uh, you did the end of crime. Did you just say? Details, I need more details. Oh, well, it was still right at the back shut up in the plaza. Right, when you saw the defendant walk past, correct? Well, I, I guess it might be able to say it there. The ring, ring might have, well, could have been taken away, away that time. Ooh. Uh, yeah, uh, 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 uh. And what's with this? Oh, whatever. Nothing to do with the ending, especially not get rid of the mirror. I feel decide what what has to do with what. I'll tell you back to the topic at hand. I made a thing that that I, Mr. Trillia Quist. What did you do when the ring was taken, Trillia? You know exactly what I did. I chased after that ring, dancing monkey. So you were able to catch him, were you? That was a slow loafles called Benfall. I was following it his way to the stone, that dumb m monkey was able to get away. The Dina incredible shame. 
The stadium does indeed approve one very important thing. For the point point, what could point could be? There's a huge contradiction in the testimony. Contradiction? It's just testified to the following effect. Up until the police arrived, he didn't move from the entrance to the plaza. When the witness just stated that he chased after money and a monkey. When the witness was off chasing the mo money, there's no one watching the plaza. What is the meaning of this piece, right? Where are you going with this whole theory of yours? I'm saying that there's no possible way that this witness saw the plaza the entire time. That's where I'm going with this little theory, which leads me to the next point. It's entirely possible that someone other than the defendant was at the scene of the crime. I'm drinking Mr. Wright. Well then, tell me this, Mr. Wright. Do you have proof that something slipped past this was a ventriloquist? Well, you obviously didn't see the victim, the ringmaster, arrive on the scene. But that doesn't change the fact that he saw the defendant arrive. Which is his lying? He's blinded by his rivalry with Max. Well, defendant is in the ring. The witness does have a history of an animosity towards the defendant. Out there, you! What a lady, he's just thinking the dark face of trouble. He's not even worth it. I saw him, no doubt about it. I saw that worthless liar. Well, just for clarity's sake, let's flush out exactly who so you saw that on I, mean, I told you so many times you think you'd know my story not changing. If she's a story stick boy, I'm sure it'll change some more. There's one line that's usually made more, bi more behind it. Exactly, Maya. That's why we have to keep it, keep after him. Yay! Let's think, Max. I'll give you... Why well, I was waiting, I'll give you that I was waiting for Regina, but that didn't change the fact that Maya Max was in the plaza that night. So up after I had been waiting f there for for about five minutes, I said good evening to him, he, but he didn't even acknowledge my presence. I'm sure, it was him. I saw Maximilian Galactic at the scene. I could have second so someone wearing those three sit ridiculous symbols. Hmm. So that means money didn't show up till after you saw Max. That's right, money ran up less than a minute after I saw Max. We established this way. Where are you going, Max? And money sat there and you went after Chase after him. How long was after you came back to where you were waiting? Well, let's see, I'd say about I saw five minutes, I think. If it could have arrived on the scene in that five minute stretch, it plays Proceed with cross examination. So are you concerned with Verdina? So are you concerned with the waiting for Verdina for that night? Tina that night. It means you probably wouldn't have noticed if someone else slipped, showed up. You should. Think about how many eyes I actually have. I got four, you know, four, four, counting Ben, of course. That man, do you really think someone would slip, slip by me? Four eyes is awful lot of attention directed at one area, I suppose. Yanks, the judge is even more dangerous to her. Get some trillia. So you say Max came came out of the big a big top big top that night. That's where I saw him come from. I was staying at the entrance of the tent the entire time. Cause that makes sense, but let's just wait for Regina. So after I had been waiting for for about five minutes. I said good evening to him, but he didn't even know Oops. As they said, gave them X that night. You must enjoy asking incredible obvious questions. You say good morning in the e morning and good afternoon during the day, right? So obviously that say good night to someone. Night. What, Ben? You got something to add? I guess that's not it, Charlie. You said good evening at night. 
That's not entirely a. Perfect camp to find Joel gets act outside the courtroom. Possible a formalist and read this performance. You should know it better. Gotta be something wrong with this bit of testimony. Is that a bit strange to you? What do you mean? Well, if you hate Max so much, why would you bother being nice to him? It strikes me as somewhat strange. Why would it strike you strange? It's like, how is it strange cordial to be one of your co-workers? Well, for simply just being cordial and cold in the stand. Ow, that hurt! Maybe you should think of having a proof of it before you let lip starts flapping next time. Proof's everything in the world. You should have learned that back in grade school. I'm gonna tell you whatever, say something nice to Max. How do I go about proving that with that evidence? Proof's everything in the world, but I'm sure you already learned that one. But we have the reason we have the bot or a bottle. Enjoy the testimony. What time would you say these these friends took place? You're one of the dunce be on the plan if you can't figure it out by yourself. You know the practice finished probably at 10 p.m. You know I went to the lodging house right at the practice. You had to be a brain surgeon to know about around what time it was when I saw him. That 10 minutes, are you sure you can do that? Now the time was it? Do you know what time was it? Um, what time was it? I think I said, yeah, I'm not gonna math. Sorry, it was 10, 10 p.m. Yes, that sounds about right. Sounds about right because at that time I saw Max unseen. I'm 100% absolutely sure of what you just said. I told you right. Jeez, I'm 100% absolutely, absolutely sure. I right, could have been more confident in that, all right? That's ridiculous, three ridiculous symbols, right? Except, how many times have you asked that question by now? As again, I'll answer with a chorus to everyone together now. So look at cloak, white roses. Thank you very much. Why, you didn't have to join in, did you? What's fun chatting it with everyone else? That's where you're holding this test away, so. Trillio, is it not true that you had a fight Max on the day of the murder? A fight? Fight over Gina is his act. It was that big of a deal? Just an argument, an argument, disagreement at most. It usually doesn't end with someone getting clonked over the head. Yeah! That morning, Ben got clonked over the head by Max, didn't he? Oh, you what? Is that admission of assault battery? Ounce. Before we handle that, we should wrap up the defendant's murder charge first. Absolutely no way that could have been. There's no way that should have been completely cordial to anything. Oh, but just considering the personality of the witness on the stand. There's no way this puppet would. would, would this loon would just give up and say good evening to his rival. Yeah! <laughs> Saying the witness is lying? This is just trying to frame the defendant by claiming to have seen him at the, seen the murder? Then tell a single lie. I, I, honestly, I just. I just. No, from you, Mr. Christmas, right? 
Yes, Your Honor. Let's go find a testimony for the court. Can you explain your theory about who the witness saw that night? It's my belief that the witness that did he see someone that night. There was just someone else. He, he, that's who he said good evening to. Okay, there he is there. The correct one. For I don't believe the person that saw it was Max at all. If it truly met Max that night, there would have been been no green at all. There would have been no green at all, which means there's only one prop proper answer. Person the witness saw that night was not Maximilian Galactica. Or truly made the effort to greet it, whoever it was I saw this evening. Good evening, good evening, good evening as he put it. Ah. Uh, what the world do you... What did the French really explain who Julia saw? Considering the old temper of the witness, the only one person he could he would have greet. It would be Regina. It's Regina, she's so cute. No, Your Honor, it's not Regina. I suppose you got a point there. It's Russell Perry, the victim himself, was it not? Yeah, you're correct. It was Russell Perry. First you saw that evening was the victim, the ringmaster Russell Perry. So I agreed with him, truly. Is that correct? Gulp! Answer the question, Mr. Quist. Alright. I don't know how you, how, how you spun it. Wait a sec. What's the thought it was the old man? But but once I got a bad look at him, it was obviously Maximilian Galactica. I guess it's seen high time that we clearly hear about this question. The quest obviously witnessed a single person in the area that paused it that evening. Problem is identifying exactly who that person was. It's a Galactic or the Ringmaster. Once it's the Russell Barry. The prosecution argued that it was the defendant that the witness saw that night. Witness says clearly stated they saw the defendant's three symbols. Three symbols? Alright, this is getting old. Come on, man. You gotta remember them by now. Here we go again, everyone. All right together now. Ow. Yeah, so we know. We know this little cat coat and white roses. A silk hat and cloak? I can wear them even. It look good on me. What was that? The witness has repeatedly. Is that only repeated I saw the Max's three symbols? Hammer, do we really know Max's million Galactica? Can you believe it's someone else dressed as them? Possibly Russell Barry. What? If I'm Karma, do you have a clear evidence that the person witness saw the defendant? Well, I, I, uh, the case then is impossible for me to make a judgment at this point. Yes, I think we finally won a point. That's very unfortunate. Huh? 
You're just a little too excited for your own good, Mr. Feast, right? What do you mean by that? You merely established one thing for the witness. That was that this witness saw one person in the night of the plaza. I apologize on, the, on your effort, but... But... person was, can only be it, answered by the next witness. Huh? You're the prosecution will find beyond a shadow of doubt. Answer the question and the evidence that clearly establishes one thing. The person... No, 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 no. Maximilian Galactic is responsible for that crime. Very well. Girl will take a ten minute recess. A time request the prosecution to prepare the next witness. It's now on recess. I'm actually going to take a little bit of a break, and then uh, I'll do good day two, uh, part two of the trial, first day of trial. Uh, I'm going to get a fresh drink. Sorry. And uh, probably I'll get to it, and then Monday we'll finish this, the, the, the uh, third case episode. So yeah. Get back in just a few moments. So get down with day six of Justice for All. Here on the channel.
And we're back. And I did turn it off, right? Sorry, turn it off. Sometimes it pushes it up and go off. There we go. Just record. Uh, December 28th, 40 a.m. Just record. Defending the lobby number five. Sweetie. It's a bully man. I didn't. Got any way that crime scene. Where were you when the murder took place? I we talked about it yesterday, remember? It was in the ringmaster's room. While you were there, it was the ringmaster who left the room, right? You're telling me, wait. I'm gonna we'll be right back. That's when the ringmaster headed to the cra scene of the crime, right? That's what it seems like. I have been wearing Max's costume, right? That's the only why he doesn't have his top hat and, uh. stuff. Oh, sweet, I just remembered. I went straight to the ringmaster's room, still dressed in my day's clothes. I got there, I went and took the costume off. Which means. It's the ringmaster could have could have been could have taken a costume when I look like a Max. Fabulous! It's a fabulously possible possibility. Hey, well done, Nick. Oh, sweetie. I don't think Rasta wanna dress up like me, the best trained. Huh? Think about all the see the crab was my still cat. What about a cook? Where did that go? Don't uh I never thought of that. You should be a detective or something. I uh, I'm not quite sure what to be when I grow up. But this is a president. No, I didn't sit what's this in the this in the this in Fabulous, this mystery just keeps getting deeper. Yeah, where does Cloak go? We only saw the hat. I mean... That's why I... 12 or 6 p.m. Just record. Quarter number two. <laughs> now that everyone's back, let's get started. The court's now back in session. So, Carver, please proceed with the prosecution case. Very well, I, I will now call my next witness. A pillow of clown with an unfortunate distinction of having been the, having seen the entire thing. Oh, Mr. Lars Curls, please take the stand. Why don't you just call a pillow of clown? No witness will state his name and occupation for the court record. And what's what's kind of feeling born and raised? Name and occupation. It's doing the uh, uh, first principle here. <laughs> the clown. Well, the witness, please inform the court. Why are you speaking out out of background with gibberish? Uh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just not used to being in a court or I've been in a court in my entire life. Entire life. <laughs> I'm not sure what the junk is doing. This is this this type. This other occasion. Well, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? You're in the Grand Hall of Justice, not some comedy club. You see your occupations, please state your name for the court. Oh yeah, oh yeah, maybe this is a joke, okay? Mom, do I have to wear pants that the, the sign says the only... Says the, no shoes, no shirt, no shoes, no surface. <laughs> okay, how about this? Have you met the... Proctologist? Mr. Seymour Buds? <laughs> how was that one? <laughs> Yeah, a couple clowns are up to the good. Your name, Lawrence Carl's professional funny man, also known as Mona Clown. What's the scene at around 10:15 p.m. the day of the murder? Correct. Yes, this is very well. A rabbi, a priest, and a Presbyterian walked in a... Not the humor, please. Not the humor, please. Uh, okay. Aw, oh, poor Mo can't be his normal stoogy self in the court. Oh, you witness. I know I'm the greatest comedian in the world. I've been able to make people laugh for ten years. When I say all I get is return the vacant stare and polite applause. It's not whatever... Last at my jokes, I've taken laughing at my, them myself. 
It's a bad habit, but hey, at least I'm trying. Imagine my predicament. I'm a clown who can't make people laugh. I'm almost useless. I keep trying. I even tried to come up with a joke for today. That was very nerve-wracking. Is that to take, try to make everyone laugh? Seriously, everyone, what do you think of me? How am I doing? Aren't we the only ones? This is, aren't we the ones that's supposed to be asking the questions here? Witness? Huh? Let's see you call for help after the court proceedings are over. Please, does please stick to the facts of the, this case. Really? You hear me out? Well, I'm, I'll make sure that one of my staff will be your straight man later. Thank you, thank you. I can't wait. Poor Gumshoe. I know it's gonna be gumshoe. Oh, it does make sense. I'm gonna like gumshoe. Uh, so, the, shall we begin the, once again? You would test me? Of course, again, I'll talk as long as you want. Eh. And, and I did a murder after the practice over. I went back to straight back to my room. You know, they had tired I was that night. I, p I was pooped. And I got straight to the sleep, but before I did, I glanced out the window. So I saw two silhouettes. A bit far away, though. Swing Master and he was with Max, who was with the, wearing his cloak. I kept watching them. All of a sudden, Max clung, throwing Max over the head. I want the accountants to believe that I have enough to pass us right now. Chris Cannon, there's no way this count can't be criticized. Remember, the witness is a bit, how do you say, off kilter. Almost like he has a sort of atmospheric guilt surrounding him. Ah! Uh. This must be because of my insincere smile. That's right, please begin the cross examination. Defense across the. Yes, Your Honor. You gotta find some contradiction in the testimony. I know that. Your Honor, even if you push, push the witness to fire, it would bring the sass upon the court. This will help you are not, not going to engage in pointless saber railing. And stand here, Your Honor. I want to say for the facts, I'll hold you responsible. Why am I responsible? I'm not the one with the corny jokes. Right at the practice. Uh, Say that practice wrapped up around 10 o'clock, correct? See, that's the thing, huh? It's like I'm supposed to make a joke about 10 p.m. Now, at 8 o'clock, that's the cl something the clown's gonna rip her off of. Well, let's pretend it was 8 o'clock, that was it. So, that way I can make a great joke. Let's not make it a cock, alright, Mo? What's that? Well, uh, don't take the clown out of the clown around. Come back, just listen to this joke. There are three reasons why I don't want. One, I probably won't laugh. Two, I'll get hit with a penalty. Three, I'll get whipped. Well, the witnesses proceed with his factual testimony. It's so boring. You were pooped that night? Yeah, uh, I was very tired. Not to mention I had some bad Mexican food. What? Double cheese, double bentola, until bena, bentola is a day's menu item. After that, that happens, ah, 
Uh, that was cool, huh? I hear the kids love the toilet humor these days. I joke with if I don't want to ruin it with a reply. I've got a reply that, that was so funny it just earned you a penalty. Happen to glance out the window. Said, hey, you can uh, get also say it peaked. Start, start, say it, glimpse, peep, peep, eyeballed. With the curls. Oh, I guess the synonyms are, aren't allowed either. Which I do, I wonder if I should press them further. So, what'd you look at the window that night? Why'd you look at that window? Why? Why? I oh, don't even don't look out their windows, do they? It's not what I meant. I meant that, well, when we, we spoke yesterday. As I tucked myself in the bed, I heard this amazing noise and it was incredibly loud. It sounded like a giant thump. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, you forgot? Your yeah, the witness looked out his window upon hearing a loud sound. I just simply glanced out of his window that night. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot to mention the thump, didn't I? Yeah, oh, that's something you just forget to mention. Oh yeah, that's what she said. Be best if all would have the testimony. Hmm. Well, Mr. Carlos, please revise your testimony. Just start turning the tables in our favor. It's noises. What does it sound like? Well, I guess it kind of sounded like, uh, I guess you could say, Mr. Carlos, get the man of court remind you he was unnecessary. No, I have to, no, I was going to make a joke. Ah! It sounds like a, uh, it sounds like someone getting hit with something very hard. That's what it sounded like, honestly. Something getting hit. Huh? What the mean? You wanna look out the window and saw it? Far away, you say, if you had to say exactly how far away were they? Let's think about it for a second. The court, the room is, my room is here, and then. But yay big, I'd say about 30 feet from my window. Just 30 feet? That's not far at all. Still in that night. The down visibility. Uh, see, please continue with the, your testimony regarding the two shadows that you saw. There's a ringmaster here. And... You, well, you say you clearly saw it even though you were, you were by your own mission very far away. That's right, I've been thinking about it over and over again, over, the, every, over since that night. It didn't really make sense until I spoke with the prosecutor on Karma. I was presenting that that was Max the Ringmaster that I saw that night. Just thinking about it, how could it be wrong if Max is always wearing his uppity symbols? Uppity symbols? Why is nowadays, do you even have to go to school anymore to be one? <laughs> Alright, everyone. Now, what to do? Well, they get it now. Say it with Uncle Mo. You know what I mean? It's always does it like this. The crowd never wants to go along with me. It's be utterly, completely worthless as a clown. Yeah, it says, the foolish just get back on track. This place testified what he saw, only what he saw. Is that a ringmaster get conked out over the head? Yes, it did. The climax of my story. They're trying to really random non secular What can you say the victim was struck with? You mean the weapon? I have no idea. It was found at the, wasn't found at the scene of the crime, right? That's not what I meant. You did say you did see everything, didn't you? Oh I um yeah I suppose I did. Wait, no, I didn't. I didn't see what I'm... <laughs>
Mo. Did you or did you not see the weapon? I'm not permitting you to arrest a witness. This is man, you better have an excellent reason for attacking the pork land. Because if we don't, I'm waiting for you a nice penalty. Go, this is a bit melodramatic. We'll be Mr. Fix, right? Every cl clear basis to believe. See any crime? We got a great witness to make it. We got a great reason to make a claim. Be telling us all the great reason. Of course I will. The reason is this is very old testimony. What does the meaning of this special right? I said he had a very he did say that. I'll just say that I'm not really looked. Kept watching and all of a sudden Max Kong doing rest over the head. What's the police when he looked at, out the window hearing a sound? This is no way they could have seen the cloak conk anyone. And they tuned into a crown cloak. Okay, I couldn't write. Again, it goes so fast. Girls, how do you respond to Mr. Wright's assessment? They didn't commit. They clown commit they clown leave clowns promptly escape from a maximum security clown car. Because he couldn't are you cr you cr citing the C team scene by anger this corner? No, I'm just stalling for time while I jog my memory. Great job, Nick. This always seem to have a selective memory. To peel back the laser of the clown, make up to find the truth. Um uh get back from the jug. Well, it seems pretty much happened the way I said. Pretty much. When I looked at my window the, that night. The ring master was already face down in the snow. My excuse to help me fill in the gaps of the, my statement. Fun karma. Tapping a witness again. Mm. 
Now you're saying that you did not see the defendant cook? Like during a minute? Yes. Where did she get a felony? I went down the ring master. I already checked out. Checked out. Yep, he was already on the perfect. I mean, Mr. Curls, Your Honor, it was the actual crime ever. You still say you saw the criminal, correct? Yes, exactly. Just slumped over and I saw someone silhouette next to him. Please testify to so what you saw, I expect the truth. And if I catch a hint of a joke from you, I'll put you in a holding cell until you learn, until you learn the court. Uh, got it? Got it. Bit far away, but the shadow could only have belonged to Max. Downing, especially since I saw his other day symbols. It's all cat, the black coat, they're all there. It's Lillard, but there's no doubt that it was him. It was blowing in the wind, so I couldn't really do what, what I was carrying. It does seem as if the defendant was at the scene of crime. It took the clown long enough to get this back straight. But whatever, this should be finally good enough, yes? Hmm. Thanks to testimony. Was Max really at the scene of the crime today? He said he wasn't there. We want to believe in that. Alright, was alright. Where's the cross examination? Do you think that you're going to well overboard. I'll explain to your being. The shadow belonged to Max is an awful firm statement, don't you think? What are you getting at? Say that one of your fellow performers' life is on the line here. Are you truly 100% absolutely certain that it was Max? I'm not the kind of person that would lie about something like that as serious time as this. I saw it was Max convinced of that. That's not like jumping conclusions this time. Go again then. What makes you sure that you saw Max that night? Trillia said the same thing, but what? But it's just the symbols that could have been wearing. What if someone had just taken Max's symbols and worn them? I thought that myself, but just looking at the shape of the face I saw, it must have been Max. You sure of that? This is a silly little boy. He was attacking him along into a trap. Silk Sil Sil Cat, that black cook, they were all there. Oops. Sure, that's what you saw that night? It's like what I saw, exactly what I saw. It's like a hawk. No parts have tabled name for them. That's why that's all I saw. See the kind of details from your window? There's a light near the scene of the crime. I said I should have been able to see that much. Out of curiosity, Mo, what's your eyesight like? I feel like a hawk out of my left eye and an eagle eye out of my right eye. I could say his eyesight's perfect 2020. Which means he could see in the crime scene clearly. We're looking at the spider the more suspicious becomes. Hey, you asked me what my eyesight was, not like it was actually what well, it actually was. So you didn't actually see what the criminal was holding. That's correct. I've been curious to know what it 
caused that loud noise. Must have been something incredibly hard. Where they have been found the armor, but I'm not for sure. Well, optic at least, at least it was so said so in the Optus report. Tristan and now Moe's. It really seems like Max is the killer. If you gotta find a contradiction in this. It's not gonna be enough. What? True that Mo saw something under the Max at night. The only thing that helped Well, I've gotta do it. You saw all the Max's update symbols? I suppose they'll cat in the cook, right? Well, everyone knows that Maximal got Galactica had three up in these symbols. Hey, uh, three symbols. Yeah, everyone, get ready all together now. Silk Cat, Coke, and White Roses. What the? Who cares if he knows that there were three or not? So we saw, he saw the symbols. He forgot to mention one. Isn't that right, Mo? You like pile of pipe? Do you? The cell is full, you have spawned with the ultra enough fractions. Order, order, order. Other pizza. You didn't see the roses, did you? To be honest, there weren't any roses on the person I saw. Crime scene was dark, it's obviously too dark to see that kind of detail. It was just said he saw the, was able to see the soul of the criminal's face. That's if the roses are white, there's no way he could have missed them. And the rest of us have fallen off to defend it and it's the result of the victim. Okay, so the police would have found them near the crime scene. All right, are these white roses tr truly met the effects of the case? All right, just toying with the, this court. I got on the ropes now. There's are secret facts that might have failed to leave me the truth yet. Someone's toying with the court, but it's not me. Your uh, do you recall Trillio's testimony? There's no way I could mistake someone wearing those three sim ridiculous symbols. I can't even mistake someone with that crazy get up and his nose stuck up so high. So wearing such a snobby deep piece get up. Trillia saw them, Trillia saw three of Max's symbols. This witness claims there was no white roses on the person he saw. There's absolutely no doubt that's a contradiction. Now, what am I supposed to think? Uh, one of the sources is guard the pointless, but this... Just forget the roses. Think about the other testimony. The witness has stated without doubt you saw Maximilian Galactica. I don't smile. Let's wrap this case up now. You're on it? It may be trivial, but it does not cast down on the prosecution case. I can lay my doubts about this witness. Sound like wine. This witness has not grown mature with age. I'm not mature... I've come to the conclusion. I'm not as sure certain this witness saw the defendant. Remember, my rating 1% of doubt is quite reasonable. If I'm a peace of mind, I'm going to request a bit more testimony. What? There's no contradiction in the next statement. I am prepared to issue a ruling. Ruling? Nick, it's your last chance. Doubt my mind there were no right resistance at night. But all the other symbols were there. I'm sure that eh. Especially the silica. There's no way I could forget the forget seeing the, de the decorations on it. It's wearing it a time time uh, it was on the scene. I ain't got one last chance at this. One last chance. I'll leave the slightest hint of badgering against the witness. Gonna prove to the, me here's the contradiction, Mr. Curl's statement. But I have at least a shred of evidence to back up your existence. I got one shot at this. I've got to be careful. I stand here on it. Our chance is all we need. Our chance is all we need.
This wouldn't happen to be the silk hat you saw that night, would it? Yep, that's it. That's the hat he was wearing that night. Question in your mind? Exactly. How would I want to say a thing like that? I see. So I promised, right? Let's find karma. Exactly. Where exactly was the silk hat found? Why she always ask these questions from the crime scene? The crime scene, that means... The silk hat fell off at the crime scene. And when this clearly testimony clearly testified to the contrary. It stated he was wearing it the time time when they was at the scene. No, that's not true. Order, order, Mr. Curls. Yes, Your Honor. To me, all this. You'll have to know better than a babe like this, of course. That's just not right. This is so harsh. What's not right is your eyesight, your memory, or amongst other things. What? Why are you being so mean to me? Why did I do? I guess you didn't just like my jokes or something, right? Uh, to go and insult my eyesight to my memory. Mer mer They're both great. So why just... Just because no matter how old I get, I was... Be younger than you. Ha ha ha. What's up? It's Charles Zappers. Mr. Carlos, what do you, who do you think you are? I saw my swords on his backs. If, it, if I didn't he have he have his swords, I'm still wearing his dumb silk cat. I'm telling the truth. Turn to a bratty kid. It's pitiful, isn't it? He left the scene wearing his dumb silk cat. You swear. He left the scene? That's a bad Nick. So I've been mulling over for a while. Mo? What do you want? You said he left the scene. It's like he howled him or leave the scene. Uh, uh, you went, uh, what do you mean, how did he leave the scene? Can't ask me that. What's the face, right? Brad drinking the witness, your honor. Brad drinking the witness, your honor. What's this test base full of holes, Miss Fonkar? Protest is useless. <laughs> Got a point. Let's hear what the witness has to say on this matter. Sorry, right, with you, little guy. I thought we like him a little baby. Besides, what kind of stupid question is how did he leave the crime scene? Yes, it's obvious. Turn around and walk the way. I expect you say, you sure that's how it happened? Say what? Uh, I'm not sure I know exactly where you're going with this. What lawyers nowadays do sure love to harp on the small things. If we proof the count of the story. Yes. Look at this picture. Look at this photograph. It takes a laugh. Oh, this is it's the footprints in the snow. Footprints. It's funny we can clearly see from the foot footprints of the victim. However, where are the primal's footprints? They're in it, aren't there? Ay 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 Oh is that gonna have the criminal escape the scene? Um he uh Your Honor? It's already proven that his testimony is completely unreliable. Just strike all this witness's testimony for the court record. I agree. This clown's testimony is as rickety as the clown car and he came to in in on uh, Wait, just a sec. This can't just ignore everything I've said. Fine, I'll tell you the truth this time. You wait a second! I think you've had, said more than enough for today. It did hurt. I'm sick and tired of listening to you anyway. I'll give you the real deal, I swear this time! I know, but I get the feeling that they're going to get worse before they get better. It's the Lawrence Curls. Yes? We can find up to now it's been false. It's been false. I haven't lied. It's just, it's just what? It's just a bit confused on a, confused about the criminal leaving the scene. This Von Carmen, the whip, our whip told me to talk about what I really saw. Not talk about what I really saw. Order, order. I love order. Francesca Von Carmen, how could you? Your Honor. You heard the truth from those witness. 
exactly the same pin as I have. What pin is that? It's not funny. I'm fat of you. I'm going if I go I'm not I'm gonna listen to what he has to say. Well, let's hear the truth about what you said saw it as the girls. And you're not gonna believe it. This tell you the truth. At the waste of time with your idiotic dribble. Now, time for our next time. Remote knows. And I've said up till now, it's been the truth. I look out the window, Ringmaster was down, and Max was standing above him. He wasn't wearing his white robes, but he was wearing the silk hat. So I saw. That's the truth. Get ready for it. He flew. He jumped and flew into the air. It disappeared in the darkness. So there's no footprints. Flying people don't leave footprints. Uh, if you're still sta if you're standing there, there's only footprints. I told you it wasn't funny. Do you believe me now? Well, that was, uh, uh, how do you put this in the words? Mr. Galactic is a world-class magician. You've just seen a crime by flying. There's no actual way that actually happened. You're right. Why is she right? You believe this other, the other witness? But you believe me, especially since it's the best part of the story. To be honest, this is the first time I've heard of a flying criminal. Think about this witness testimony. Right now, I can't believe any of this. I'm sure if this day hasn't been some kind of cafecastic dream. Al, do you think it's still a dream? Uh, I'm sorry. I saw what. Y'all in my thinking regarding this man. The criminals disappeared in the sky. I'd love to believe that, but I just can't wrap my head around how that, that could actually happen. Imbecile! Disregard a need for proof, Miss Von Karma. Case is sound. However, I get the feeling with this case is a dire need of more investigation. That's how I conclude today's proceeding at this point. This be the fact that the criminal left no footprints at the scene. Tomorrow I want to find out the reason behind this mystery of mysteries. Um, uh, <laughs> grrr. That's enough for today. Corey's adjourned. Hey, sweetums, what in the world is going on? That's what I want to know. Then a curl flew in the air and disappeared. I can't believe I'm asking this, but you didn't fly tonight, did you? I know you don't want to ask me. That's a fabulous, stupid question. I can't fly whenever I please, it's not that easy. But it looks so effortless for you on stage. It's not that simple, man! It's, I'm actually not flying on stage! It's just so wise and have the voice me through the air! Wow, you just told me the secret of the air magic. I broke the first rule, the cardinal rule, the only rule! I'm sorry, Max. Did you break up a magician's creed to never reveal the secret to your tr their tricks? Nick, what do we do now? Just now hope. We can find the flying criminal in court tomorrow. Great idea. Let's do our best to catch this, this sucker. To be continued. That's what we'll pick up for Monday. I feel like a despair. My phone really done by I'm tired. I just wrestle. I want to take a nap for wrestling tonight. And I feel like.
it gotta be a center. Oops, oops. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Uh, like I said. Back tomorrow at Mark 8 Deluxe. And on, uh. Monday, like I said, we'll continue on over. Monday, like I said, we'll get down with the, uh. Wrap up episode three, court uh, case three, whatever we call it. <laughs> On Monday, Tuesday, we'll get to uh, I'll, I'll start case four. Uh, Wednesday, I'll be Wednesday, so I'll be show 20. Thursday, more work at Alex Racing with the great DQ. Thursday night, get to case four. And, uh, fix right, it's the turn trilogy. And uh, hopefully wrap it up, but wrap up the uh, game uh, by uh, Saturday. That's at least the plan. Like Saturday. Let's get coming schedule new channel. See the follow button. We got lots of games coming up. Oh, that's like I was. That was my sister. She went to BJ's. So, glad I'm ending now. Which is perfect timing. Uh, <laughs> so, and then, uh, which means uh, Monday, which means uh, the following week from Monday, we can start uh, Yakuza Kawami 2. Yay! Well, I just, uh, it, it, well uh, yeah. So yeah, that's the upcoming schedule on the channel. I still follow, but we got lots of games coming up. Like I said, we'll be uh, uh, hopefully wrapping. Up. Probably most likely, I uh, don't unless something happens, you never know. Uh, wrapping up uh, Just the Fall next week, and coming up, uh, like I said, the Yakuza of Kiwami two in the next month. The Halloween is on with Luigi's Mansion three, Doom Eternal, Resident Evil two, maybe more depending on else. How, how how much time is left after we finish those three games? Uh, November Tales of Asperi Tales of Asperia. So much other good plans of playing for our year next year. So follow me on social media. See when I go live. Then go live. Put your change sharing all kinds of games from my Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Speaking of YouTube, subscribe to the YouTube page for all the playthroughs past, better, future, including our playthroughs of the previous right series, the Echoes series, previous all weenathons previous games of the Tales of the series that we played and lots more on good box videos, shirts, reviews, kind of all kinds of good stuff. It'll be doing a new, new unboxing video up later today. Also got a Discord video more stuff on in the future. And I wrote the cast out is a way to the world save your money. You watch our own files on YouTube. Also let's give your friend the first section down below. Uh let's Let's see, you know, don't think everybody's on like a host. Don't, no, I could be wrong. I have been wrong before. I love the photos. So yeah, until next time, I'm gonna wear one. Peace!